So, unfortunately, I've lost my microphone, but uh, let's start with uh, reviewing Tartu. So, let's go. I've opened up uh, the kv.e <coughs> map website. So, what is uh, specific for Tartu is that it has a river just in the middle and every city which has a river uh, makes uh, everything uh, much more expensive for the city to be run because you have to build bridges everything so river is always uh, added cost so you have to think which side of the river you are these kind of things for the city it uh, means uh, uh, expenses added expenses so here we are. Uh, Tartu is an interesting city that uh, it is uh, one of the biggest em employers are universities. Tartu University and uh, some kind of agrarian university, Tartu Aviation College, where <laughs> I studied uh, IT and te telecommunication in the aviation industry. So, but let's start with our review. Uh, we are reviewing now properties for sale. Uh, although uh, it has a very healthy demand for rentals too, obviously because of the students. A lot of students need a lot of places uh, to rent, but they have uh, their budgets, so it has to be uh, low cost uh, rental. But here we go, we start. Let's start in the city center with uh, this property. Yes, 2,095 euros per square meter. Not bad. One star or one house. Big apartment, 106 square meters. Not too cozy because maybe it's first floor. No, yes, first out of three. I can see that uh, from the windows, you see these uh, areas uh, where it's covered from below. I would still put here curtains to make it cozier. Cozy, cozy is selling well. It seems that somebody's done photos like with his mobile or something. A bit skewed. Does not look professional. Okay, this photo too. Mm. Could use a better representation, but uh, seems seems a good property otherwise. Let's see the building. Uh, usually, I like when they put a photo of the building somewhere near the top. But usually, if it's at the end, might mean that, hmm, okay, building is good. So the question is, do they have, have they put plastic windows or not? Let me just scroll back. Can't see from here. Uh, but if uh, they have put plastic windows, that's uh, not great. Yes, here it's not clear from, from this picture, but uh, let's assume they are not plastic, then it's a good thing. Let me just, uh, I'm kind of curious, but okay, let's keep to that, plastic or not, if there's a wooden windows, then it's a good buy, if not, then uh, think about it, then you can bargain a little bit. So, uh, it kind of zoomed out very rapidly. Let's zoom in. I'm, I don't remember very well uh, those uh, different areas. Karlova seems an area. Uh, and Arnelin is on the other side. But let's look in the city center near the Tartu University. Obviously, this is the top top area with pricing 
Okay. Tartu, Tartu, Lin. 2,651 euros per square meter. Okay. Prices in Tartu seem kind of even comparable to Tallinn. It's a uh, last floor of, uh, of a building. This is kind of uh, Estonian era buildings, seems to me. But um, let's open it in a separate <coughs> and read. Yes, three room apartment. Built 1938. So this is an interesting thing. Usually they built uh, quite well in the old days with bricks and stone and everything. So it will last. Uh, here what I can see is um, that it has skylights. And uh, every time you have uh, a glass which is not horizontal, vertical but is little bit in an angle that means that a lot of the heat is going through the window because windows are kind of good uh, protecting uh, if they are this orientation but if they start uh, to have any inclination then uh, the losses are much bigger so um, beware of that or just look into what kind of uh, windows they have because the heating bill will, will be higher expect and you'll be colder in the winter uh, photos not professional kind of mobile and not great mobile photos what is it? it seems like a central heating but did they have central heating? I'll later read yes small cozy space How many rooms do they have? Uh, 81 square meters, 3 rooms, 2 bedrooms. So he has put 3 exclamation marks. What does it mean? <laughs> that uh, very important. Let's see. The heating. Gas Gas heating. Energy class no energy class so think and bargain so <clears throat> let's see other properties what do we have do we have another apartment in the same building 18a yes we have another apartment in the same building um, sometimes it's a question why they're selling, <laughs> but the Estonian area buildings are generally good. Maybe somebody had two apartments. So this uh, seemed to have uh, this old time um, uh, flooring, hardwood floor, which is nice. This is a value. Big space, empty space. Those, these photos are better, although uh, the space is not uh, very cozy and I see that for example those lamps they don't uh, make for a cozy atmosphere, maybe something needs to be changed, maybe something put on the floor or something to make it cozier because people at the end they decide by the photos a lot if they're clicking to see more or not so you have to have like um, we are always uh, uh, want to have this one photo which says wow <laughs> and uh, we have photographers who, who can find this uh, one photo in a seemingly ordinary apartment you have to have this uh, thing uh, you can recognize uh, a special angle so 51,000 euro apartment, 3,036 euros per square meter. 
This is obviously something like a rental for a student. I don't know, maybe we later can see how much is are the rent, how much is the rent in Tartu, but I, I think it's top 350 or 400. Yes, for the listing so far, we did not see any floor plans. Why? Oh, it's good to have a floor plan, even in a smaller apartment. So cozy TG6. Location seems great. Maybe it's a good investment. It all depends on how much is the rent. The house is a brick house. Obviously, one, two, three, four, five floors, so no elevator. Then the floor number is important, so it's three out of five. Okay, but if it's for a student, then it doesn't matter. If it has elevator or not, no old people are going to live there any, anyhow. So, so let's uh, see also here. What do we have? Do we have two apartments? Herne 32. Okay. Pretty generic furniture. Not too bad. Kind of uh, likable these days. Ceiling seems high. Let me see if we have the information. Okay, let I'll open that in a separate window. Can't see any information how high are the ceilings, but if they are more than 250 is good to be mentioned. And I see it a li little bit by the kitchen. So these kitchens are usually ceiling heights and you, you have uh, like 20, 30 centim centimeters more. So for the small spaces, uh, high ceilings make it really look even bigger. So it gives uh, more space, but also more space to heat and the heat collects up on top. So beware of that. Don't see any windows. Okay, see windows. So maybe they have uh, roller shades because I don't see those uh, thick curtains. Okay, this is kind of Scandinavian, modern. Looks so cozy with this rack. Kitchen is okay. Let us see if we have a floor plan. Oh, no floor plan. Wardrobe. Yes, pretty good. 3300 is not cheap. But I'm not really very accustomed. Uh, don't know what, what prices are high in Tartar and what are not. Uh, also, Tartu is like kind of uh, in, uh, second biggest city uh, to Tartu is Riga. So Riga pulls some of uh, the people from southern Estonia towards itself. So although it's the second largest uh, city in uh, Estonia, uh, it might uh, not be the the biggest city for some people in Estonia who are living in uh, southern Estonia. They might, uh, for them, the biggest city might be Riga. So that's kind of draws a little bit the juices out of Tartu. Okay, let's continue with this one. Okay, this one is nice. Let's see if we have building, bathroom, nice. Okay, I like, this is special. Okay, I see already it's an older building. Oh, brick building, nice. This might be a good buy. Good location, good things. So let's continue with the next one. Let's go on the other side of the river too. 
Uh, so this side we looked, other side of the river. Okay, that seems brand new. So with this not clear, is it built or is it an interior photo or this is um, some kind of um, a 3D, it seems like a 3D image. Not like 3D, but uh, not, a, not a real photo, but an, an image from a project. So let's see, panorama, looks, packet. Don't, let's see if it's ready or when it's going to be ready. So, Puye Stedanov 89, Ula Ula. So, Ula Ula means on the other side of the river. <laughs> Good name for a street. 65 square meters, 3 out of 4 floors. Usually that means, if it's up to 5 floors, means no elevator. But some newer buildings might have. So, let's... Um, also see A energy class, that's a good thing. Three room apartment. From here I can't see when it's going to be ready or it's already built. Uh, build, building date uh, 2022. So. It's either ready or will be ready this year. So now it's uh, 23rd of October, so not much time is left. So these interior photos on the newer buildings mean that uh, you won't have this apartment, but uh, you can build it to look like this. You have to buy the bed, everything. So three floors, but why ah so there is like the first floor is for the parking seems so that's why it's on the third floor but on the photo it's actually if i looked at it it's the second one but obviously they count from from the bottom floor floor plan But the floor plan, let's see what it shows. Okay, with uh, furniture, that's good. It's good also to put on the floor plan the orientation. Because uh, it's kind of important where it is facing. Is it facing north or south? Or for... It's important, so... If you list anything, please put this information too. Uh, let's see this apartment at um, Anelin. This is very famous uh, Tartu Quarter and uh, price 2076 euros per square meter. Seems kind of new. Plastic windows. First floor out of five, so it's uh, good for older people. Everybody's getting old very quickly. <laughs> Remember that. Photos are crooked, skewed, mobile phone photos. I don't know who is that. I hope he's not a realtor because not a great job. Yes, this one too, but apartment seems nice. Some kind of photo. Corridor, what is that? Okay, against the light. Not a good shot, but the apartment seems okay it seems to be a older building because uh, usually if it's five floors five floors were those uh, Khrushchevka named apartment buildings the time of when they were built during Khrushchev <laughs> who was um, uh, he was the leader of the um, Soviet Union at that time but it's another topic topic bathroom white nice i'm not even expecting any uh, floor plan here because uh, it's unprofessional but the apartment is nice i can see it has a balcony over there the last photo over there is the balcony 
so that's the entryway seems kind of clean and well kept up and yes that's an older building on the first floor separate uh, rooms let's open it up here also to see do they have a text in english no only additional information so no floor plan no text in english bad photos and oh it's a realtor let we go real estate agency minus points here otherwise it's a pretty standard apartment which can be a good investment it depends on the rental prices okay let's take a look so this is Annelina we looked at this one Annelina is really famous uh, one uh, okay let's check this one this is also Annelin much nicer you see much better photos it is kind of even cozy no not cozy it's modern but not cozy Uh, TV room, okay, this one is nice. Other radiators, that means um, maybe some kind of renovation will be still on ongoing in the building. So that's the risk. If you have the old radiators, then uh, at some point they might uh, need to be changed. And then your good uh, renovation or whatever you have uh, will be destroyed. Um, so you have to redo some parts again but otherwise this one is nice two rooms oh it's even cheaper than the other one we looked so yes i would buy this one let's see kitchen kitchen is a bit kind of old old style but if you have it uh, if you buy it for a rental then that's good enough you don't need to to be brand new fridge oh that's, that's a huge fridge no that's wide angle lens the fridge is not big everything just seems bigger if it's a wide angle lens so obviously this table is also smaller and the chair and everything so this is to be expected okay this is nice bathtub i like bathtubs uh, Washing machine, better equipped, lower price, balcony. Ah, but what is the floor? Um, let's see which floor it, it's at. Five out of five. Okay, that's a big drawback. But if you rent it for students, and that's your plan to rent it out for students, they just want a cheaper price and it can be further away. Uh, I would still prefer this one. In this student uh, city as Tartu. Okay. We have time for one more. Anelin. You see, Anelin, they all seem like very similar. 98,000, 1,700 euros. So obviously, 2,000 is too much. Okay. Red. So if you are selling something. Maybe, maybe somebody likes red, but uh, this kind of uh, extreme choices of uh, very uh, extraordinary colors are generally not a good idea. Because red to be repainted is kind of uh, not that easy. Red, yellow, try to put it, to paint it uh, beige or something, uh, or like white, white, nice, nice white. Everybody can repaint it afterwards. Here you can see new radiators, so this uh, heating system has been changed, plastic windows. Uh, yes, kitchen is, is worse here, all kind of uh, wallpaper, but this can be redone also. Uh, if possible, remove paint, for saving is better. 
Yes, bathroom needs renovation. Okay, this apartment needs a bit of work, but it's cheaper. So that's it. So uh, let's uh, sum it up uh, for uh, Tartu. These are the things you, you should uh, look at. Let's even zoom out to see uh, here is Tartu. So Tartu has a uh, university. Uh, it's kind of uh, a capital of the southern Estonia. Uh, it is kind of agrarian part. There are a lot of lands which are being uh, uh, plowed for different kind of crops. And the other bigger city is Riga in Latvia. You see in the map here, here is Tartu, Riga, uh, and for somebody in Valga, for example, uh, Riga is uh, the biggest and the closest city, like it's a bigger city than Tartu. So, uh, and for tax reasons, uh, some uh, alcohol is cheaper in Latvia due to tax reasons, so people might go towards uh, uh, Latvia to buy something, or, or you have to bear that in mind. And the other thing is the river. That means that the city has uh, bigger expenses to build bridges and everything is more expensive uh, where there is a river. So these things you have to bear in mind. Also, uh, bridges are a kind of a bottleneck too. But it's a small city uh, and uh, completely different vibe than, than Tallinn. And uh, depending on uh, which uh, uh, price point you buy an apartment, it can be a very good investment because uh, you have a stable demand for apartment rentals. So that's it. Like, subscribe, I'll make a short version of these two, and uh, see you in another video.